had many Grand Prix before. He certainly hasn't won once. And of course, Reutemann giving him a hard time. Let's take a look at the start once again. It was some moment when they came off the line. There was Ricardo Patrese away beside him. The Alan Jones and Reutemann cars. And as they thunder down into the first turn, one of the Ferraris, we believe Peroni, made this big bid on the outside, scooting by machines as they came into the Queen's hairpin. Watch the red car on the outside, almost missed the turn at the same time. Go ahead, David. This is what's called the classic win at the first lap syndrome. He tried to get the lead from a, an impossible position. And of course, this fracas ensued, and that, for, that is the Renault there of Alain Prost, the young Frenchman who drove for McLaren last year, out of the race at the first turn. Bumped off Hector Rabac, we believe. from Long Beach, California, CBS Sports presents the 1981 Long Beach Grand Prix. With six laps completed, Ricardo Patrese has the lead. This race has been won three of five times from the pole position. But Patrese has a propensity for finding fences, David. The question is, can he stand the pressure that is being exerted by the FW07 cars, the Williams team, Argentina's Carlos Reutemann in second, Australia's Alan Jones in hot pursuit in third place. Here they are at 145 miles an hour down Ocean Boulevard on the brakes, back into second gear as they lurch down the street. Down Linden Avenue, into the artificial part of the course, as Patrese of Italy stays in front. Nelson Piquet still very much in the hunt. As they come around to complete lap number nine of 80 on this 2.02 mile course, Patrese stays in the lead, and it is John Watson pitting one of the McLaren cars. Watson just pulling on pit road. There's your leader, Patrese, with the Williams cars running in two and three. Carlos Reutemann, who won this event in 1978, stays in second place. The race is stabilized, so let's for a moment take a look as we had to join the race in progress at the starting grid for today's round number one of the World Championship of On Auto the Racing. Pole for the first time in his career, Ricardo Patrese driving for Team Arrows, and beside him, Alan Jones, the world champion. In row two, it'll be Carlos Reutemann, the winner here in 1978, and last year's winner, Nelson Piquet. Row number three, a former winner, Gilles Villeneuve, and the 1978 Long Beach champion, Mario Andretti. In row number four, from the United States, Eddie Cheever is matched up against Nigel Mansell of England. Then in row five, it's Bruno Giacomelli for Alfa Romeo and Jean-Pierre Jaurier. In row number six, Didier Peroni for Ferrari and Jacques Lafitte for Liget. Row number seven, the Ilio De Angelis, driving for the Lotus team and Elaine Prost. In row number eight, Hector Rabach, and it's Keki Rosberg on the outside. In row number nine, Patrick Tombe in the Theodore and Chico Serra in a Fittipaldi. Row number 10, Mark Schur of Switzerland, and beside him, Rini Arnoux in one of the Renaults. Row 11 is Jans Lammer, and beside him is De Cesare of Italy. Then in the final row, row 12, it's John Watson for McLaren and Pepe Gabbiani, a new driver. So that is how they lined up at the start. We had to join this event in progress as the Doral took a little longer to be decided today than had been expected. And the green flag came down with Patrese out in front. He is not giving up on that. As still second is Carlos Reutemann putting on some pressure. Falling back a little, David Hobbs, is Alan Jones at the present time in third place. Well, Ricardo Patrese made a great start. He did some electrifying laps in qualifying yesterday. He was consistently in the top two or three. He ended up on the pole. Alan Jones had led most of the qualifying times there. We see Ricardo up in the top right-hand corner there. Alan Jones had been leading qualifying, ultimately dropped to second spot. And today he's uh, not hanging on, but of course there's a long way to go yet. His teammate Carlos Reutemann, of course, giving Patrese a pretty hard time. And Ricardo has led some Grand Prix before, but he's never won one and he's never been on the pole before. So this is a, a strong test for him. The 1979 world champion Jody Schechter is down at turn number uh, the Queen's hairpin. As we look a little further back in the pack, they're going through the Queen's hairpin right now. How about it, Jody Schechter? Some comments from you about what you've seen thus far. Well, I, I see the, the importance of setting the car. Ricardo Patrese is just in front of Carlos Reutemann, and that's where it's so important to have a speed down the straight. Now, Ricardo Patrese was very fast down the straight, but Carlos Reutemann just can't get behind him to get his slipstream to pass him into Queensway hairpin. I see also the world champion dropping back slightly and really battling to hold on. 
You're watching the fifth place car here, number 28. That is Didier Peroni, who made that wild move on the outside. Right behind him is last year's winner, Nelson Piquet, and then Canada's great champion, Gilles Villeneuve, whose brother Jacques Villeneuve won the Formula Atlantic race here this weekend. There were several other events, and his brother, who's a great snowmobile champion, came through with flying colors in Formula Atlantic. 